diddly squat. That is what I think of everything. Drill. Someone built drill. Okay, let's see. Four. Yeah. Then screw all of this. Okay, um, guys, welcome back. It's a whole new week and a whole new doing the exact same everything. Uh, yep, that's right. I said that. We need large steel tubes. Large steel tubes. Because what else is going on? Anyways, my name is Forrest, this is Gump Central, and this is episode 5 of Space Engineers. Yes, construction components motors. Let's see, bam, bam. Yeah, I grabbed 100, I only needed 10. Okay, let's get to drilling. Let's get this going right away. On. Yay. Yay! Drill! Piston number five. Uh, 0 0.01. That'll do it. That is the right speed. Trust me, I'm a doctor. I went to doctor school of doctorness. Oh my gosh, we're close to the, we've got to be close to the South Pole. Because the sun came up there, and it goes down over there. Or maybe it comes up there and goes down over there? I'm not sure. But, like, I'm going crazy. Okay, we'll just leave it at that. The piston is expanding, right? Piston, yay. Okay. We just gonna get ourselves a hole. Um, that's really just to get minerals and stuff. That's that's the right word, minerals. Um, what do I want to do? Let's see. Hmm. I really need to be making more solar panels, but I'm actually just going to keep building the base. So, hmm, I'm not really sure what I want to do with the base. Um, okay, let's kind of call this just an operating room for right now. What did we have? We're going to need an oxygen, oxygen tank, air vent. Oxygen generator, hydrogen tank, oxygen farm. Oxygen generator, oxygen tank. I think we just need the oxygen generator. And then, ah, I really, I hurt my jaw. And I don't really know what's going on with it. Like every three times I open it, it pops. So I'm not sure what's going on. I should really get it looked at. Those aren't connected, because why would they be? Do, do, do. Um, ba, ba, da. Let's see, what, gotta think. Uh, like I've been, I just play creative um, space engineers. When I'm not playing this, because I don't want to do any progress on this world without recording, that way, because you guys wouldn't see it. So, um, it's just, it's really weird, because I get used to doing creative and just being able to spawn everything in, and then, you know, I come back here, and I'm like, oh no, I actually have to collect materials. But, uh, I'm glad that I, I learned how to do some good things on... Yeah, I knew it. I knew it. The solar panels are not built right because we're on pretty much the South Pole. So, um, let's see. Here's what we need to do. We need to take a 
apart all the solar panels. We need to put them up here. I'm going to build this. I need more steel plates. Uh, get rid of all that. Okay. We're going to build this. And we're going to put the solar panels up so they can get more energy. Because we are nowhere by the equator, which means that the sun isn't going to go directly over us. It's going to go way over there. And the drill's doing just fine. Um, we're just going to let that run for a bit. We don't really need the antenna. I mean, it was nice to have. But I don't see it me going on any... I don't see us going on any adventures lately. Or in the meantime. So, hey, stop that. Okay. Um... <laughs> Like, maybe in the future, if I ever move towards the equator, I'll put up a, a proper solar farm. But because we're so far south, we honestly need to have it like this. Like, it'll be dark forever, which is not good. Um, let's see, I want to flip them up like that. Put that there. All right, build this one. Like, okay. The day cycle is set to be, I think, an hour. So we literally just got 10 minutes of daylight. That means we get 50 minutes of night, which blows. So that means I'm going to need a lot more solar panels to collect all the energy that we would possibly need for night time which is a lot that's a lot of solar panels because they need to charge all the batteries for a day or in during the daytime like all of them and I know I don't have many uh, what is it called I don't have many batteries now but as I progress and we get more materials and stuff, I'm going to be needing a lot more batteries. Look at my little drill go. It's going to be great. Uh, now I've got to get there. Okay, see, the sun's already down. It hasn't even been 20 minutes yet. That's, that's just awful. Maybe if I had done the time set thing to, I don't know, two hours, it would have dropped me on the equator. Because I didn't move that much from when I dropped into the atmosphere. So... Actually, I did. I moved a lot because I was trying to find ice. But I learned that um, snow works as ice. So... Huh. Okay, that's weird. Anyways. Episode 4. This is like a third as far as I made it with FTL. What am I doing here? Wasting hydrogen. I don't even remember what I did with FTL. I just remember that I liked doing it. FTL was fun. I should get back into that series. Maybe after I get a grasp of like 50 episodes here. Well, no, because these episodes are going to go to 30 minutes after 50, I think. But I don't know. After a while, I'll go back to FTL. I mean, I enjoyed it. See, now they're getting a much better charge. And there's like no light on them whatsoever. So, oh, my jaw popped again. See, that is so much better. The sun's not even up, and a lot of them are getting a full charge. Okay. How long will it take both batteries to charge? Battery, seven hours, nine hours. Okay, well, they're not doing any output, so that's good. How is this hole coming along? Very slow, it would seem. I should build a conveyor system for this. Alright, let's go ahead and get that laid out, and that'll be the episode. I think. Ah, sounds good. You know, I just figured out that a small, large small container is the same size 
Right, a large ship, small container is the same size as a small ship, large container. That makes sense. Somehow it's more efficient though, so I don't know. Hmm. Okay. That's taken care of. Now we can go throw all of this into that. But uh. Oh, for, uh, no, no, you're not a moron. Okay, you can still do that. I was going to say, I'm like, I have to take apart the piston, put the conveyor system, but I forgot that <sighs> all the blocks are square and you can do it that way. So, okay. Boom. And I think we need some of these for some reason. I don't... I don't know why, but okay, we're just gonna lay this out for this episode, and then next episode we'll get to building it. Oh, good. Okay. Um, don't need that anymore. We just need that one. Okay. Um. Let's see. I don't really know what I want to do here, but I think it's something like... Nope. Apparently can't do that. There we go. Uh, that one... Oh. No. I hate how you can do that now. It's really annoying. Because I'd just be dropping crap. Okay, I got hydrogen left. Eight... Uh Okay, so um Yeah, we're just gonna run along this wall here. Eight boom 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 boom. Yeah, don't tell me that those are upside down, I know. I don't care. Uh Boom, boom. Okay. So. Then that leaves everything to be able to be set up there. Alrighty. Have we hit any stone yet? Any? Nope. Just massive chunks of ice. Well, if we ever get to space, we'll never run out of ice. Because literally, we've got infinite amounts. So. Uh, I know this episode's just a little bit shorter, guys, but I do want to save the conveyor building until the next episode. So, like I said in the beginning, my name's Forrest, this is Gump Central. If you enjoyed the video, leave a like rating. If you didn't, well, that sucks for you. It's your opinion, and I don't like it. Um, if you haven't hit that big red button that says subscribe yet, go and hit that. You'll be notified when every video comes out. Every Space Engineers video comes out every Monday morning at 6 a.m. And with that, we're going to... Roll the outro.